Hello and welcome back. It's been a while since you've seen me, or part of me anyway. Uh, I haven't been building any more engines lately, but uh, I have been doing some other interesting things. This is a custom high voltage transformer that I've built for a customer. Uh, that's what I do for a living. The design specs were 15,000 volts output at 30 milliamps current. And uh, the keen-eyed among you might observe that there are no shunts in the lamination. So this transformer is not current limited. And what that means is when it is supplying output power, there is nothing to limit the output current. So though the, the design was 30 milliamps at a short circuit condition or a condition where it is drawing an arc, the output can far exceed 30 milliamps. Uh, I want to preface the demonstration by saying please don't try this at home. If you ever watch Mythbusters they always say we do this so you don't have to. So I'm saying the same thing. I'm doing this so you don't have to. So enjoy the demonstration but don't try anything like this yourself. I have uh, I've taken several safety precautions. It might not look like it, but actually this is quite safe. Uh, the output is very well insulated. I have the output on a long insulator that's Dell run, very non-conductive. And I have people in the background watching so that if I do have an accident, I've got backup. So, without further ado, let's see what it will do. I'll switch on. You probably can't hear it, but I can hear a faint buzz. And here we go. What do you think of that? Now you probably can't see it, but I have, well of course, first of all, there's a couple of pieces of very good insulation on top of the transformer, but there's also a ruler. And as I draw this out, it'll sustain the arc up to a little bit over six inches. But the arc is actually much longer because you'll notice it goes up and then back down again. So it's actually covering a much greater distance than that. And it rises in the middle, of course, because heat rises. And an electrical arc is just a hot, very hot plasma. So where it's the hottest, it rises the highest. That's why it rises in the middle. Now watch this. That's a pretty long arc. That's the sound of power. 15,000 volts at 30 milliamps is about 450 watts if you do the math. But like I said, it's not current limited, so it's actually drawing a quite a bit more than that. You'll notice the screw heads that I'm using for electrodes, they get red hot and orange hot. And if I let it draw the arc long enough, they'll turn white hot and they'll start to spark and fizzle. But I don't want to draw the arc for very long because I'll overheat the transformer. And if I burn it up, my customer will be very, very unhappy. Now this is similar to a welding arc, so I'm not really watching it very closely as I'm doing this demonstration. I'm actually looking away. So if I miss sometimes, that's why. It'll probably actually sustain an arc a little bit longer than what I'm showing you, but that's as, that's the long as, as long as my wires are. And I, I really don't want to change the arrangement over here, uh, so we're just going to have to live with that. I hope 
the uh, I hope the arc isn't swamping the video. Uh, I had to dim the room somewhat so the arc would show up well. Uh, and and I'm ho I hope it's not overwhelming the chip. We'll we'll find out in a minute. It got so hot that it was actually burning. It's burning the Delrin, the end of my rod there. But that's a very hot plasma. Who knows how many, how many thousands of degrees that is. I'm not going to stick my finger in it and find out. But you'll notice when the the Delrin at the end or the tape that I have that wrapped up with, when that gets in the arc it flashes because of the carbon generated conducts electricity much better than the air and it'll flash. Watch again. <laughs> Pretty cool. pretty much it. I don't want to bore you by just going on with the same old thing all night. So thanks for watching and uh, tune in again next time. Who knows what we'll be doing next. Safety. Turn off the power and unplug it before putting down the electrode. Thanks again. See you later.